Morrowind is a game of many spells, although if you've played it for a long time like I have, you probably find yourself using the same ones over and over again. And yes, I'm looking at you, Hearth Heal. So if you're the kind of person that likes to switch up the spells that they use each playthrough, then be sure to stick around until the end, and I'm sure you'll learn something new. So number one on the list of underrated spells is something that I'm surprised I don't see more people talk about on the subreddits or in the forums or pretty much anywhere else that I see spells mentioned in Morrowind. And this is going to be Demoralize Humanoid. Now, why would I take Demoralize Humanoid over something like the traditional disengage package of Burden or Damage Strength? Well, because what's easier than running away from another enemy? Well, it's having that enemy run away from you. I mean, it'd take less calories in real life, right? So, I mean, that must be easier. And I don't know about y'all. I hate running. I'd, I'd rather the enemy do it instead of me. So how Demoralized Humanoid actually works is by raising the flea rating of the character that you're targeting. You cast Demoralized Humanoid, their flea rating runs, and then the character is going to try and disengage from combat and run away. Now, this is super effective, especially for an AoE spell, as you'll be able to send crowds of people running for the hills for a relatively all things considered efficient magicka cost. Now, one thing to note about Demoralized Humanoid is it doesn't cancel combat when the character does come out of the demoralized spell, so they will still come back for another round in the ring, but at least by then, you'll have gathered up your resources, taken a heal, or are already in the next town over. Now, the second spell we're gonna talk about is Damage Magicka, and this is just going to be incredibly helpful and very, very Magicka efficient when compared to something like a Silence or something like a Sound at impeding spellcasters from doing what they wanna do, and that's absolutely annihilate you off the face of the earth using spells. I especially like Damage Magicka when you're going against creatures and not necessarily like super high level NPCs that are just going to reflect it back into your face. Because if you have a relatively high Damage Magicka spell, you'll be able to take out an Ash Ghoul or an Ascended Sleeper's Magic Pool in just two to three casts, and then you pretty much have nothing to worry about with them fighting you. Additionally, most NPCs in the game that aren't, you know, the Archmage of the Mages Guild are only going to have a Magicka Pool of like 50 points maybe so simply one or two casts of even a very very low damage magical is going to make them put away those spells that you don't have resistances to yeah high elf players i'm talking to you and they'll instead pull out that chitin dagger that's not going to do anything against the daedric set of armor you're undoubtedly wearing at level two because this is morrowind and that's how we play the game <laughs> yes Akushius, i don't think he really knew what he was signing up for when he stroked that paper but hey you'll get to the main quest and you know save the world eventually now the next spell i want to talk about is arguably the most useful of our five today and honestly every player should find a way to have access to this ability and this ability is going to be frenzy humanoid now, what makes Frenzy Humanoid so much better than all the other spells that I'm going to talk about today? And it's just completely busted. Simple fact. Completely busted. No idea why they put this in the game. Just saying, user beware. But what Frenzy Humanoid is going to let you do is aggro any NPC in the game and kill them without penalty. Now, most spells when you target an NPC in Morrowind is considered a crime, but because the devs purposely left Frenzy off this list of being considered a crime, it allows you to aggro any character in the game. And yes, I mean any NPC. You can Frenzy Ordinators, Kill him in front of other ordinators. You can frenzy Vivek. Kill the literal living god that runs the entire island. No one will ever care. Frenzy is just the most busted thing ever, and I just never see anybody mention it anywhere. So do yourself a favor, and anytime you want to get away with any act of murder, whether you're forced to or not, go ahead and get Frenzy in your inventory, and you'll just never have to pay for the repercussions for your crimes pretty much ever again. That's a good deal. Now, before I get into this next spell, let me paint you a little bit of a picture here. It's late at night. You're alone in your room. You've been playing Morrowind for about two to three hours. Haven't saved because you're so engrossed. You've accepted one of Morrowind's many follower quests. And as you escort the naked Nord or assassin that you want to go take to kill necromancers with you to your eventual goal, you accidentally hit them with an AoE spell when you're trying to kill a Nyx Hound. And then they attack you. And then you have to kill them. And now you failed the quest. Why are we still here? Just to suffer. 
Well, what if I told you that this spell would remove that headache from your life? And yes, I'm talking about the spell Calm. Now, how Calm works is by lowering the fight rating of the target for the spell. So if your follower is aggroed against you, you then cast Calm on them, they will go out of combat. And though this part of the effect is not permanent, it will only last for the duration of the spell that you've cast, what you can do to get rid of the aggro they have towards you, and this works for most NPCs, is leave the cell that they are in. So teleport out, go to another area, ask them to wait, leave them behind, and then you can simply rest for a couple days, return to the spot where they were, and they will be happy to work with you once again, which makes Calm an indispensable spell for the adventurer that loves followers or follower quests. But that, of course, isn't the only good use for Calm. You can, of course, Calm someone, steal everything around them, and then run away off into the night. There's a lot of good practical uses for having someone not engage in a fight with you, and I'll just leave it at that because you can be as creative with Calm as you want to be. Great spell. Be sure to add it. To your inventory. Now for the final spell in today's video. This one may be a little bit controversial, but I think that it is worthy of inclusion on the list, even though it's not one of the most underrated effects in the game, but the application certainly is. Now, we all love Levitate. It, of course, is kind of the hallmark spell of Morrowind and what really separates it from the other Elder Scrolls games. But most people just use it to fly around with the greatest of ease and forget that levitate can actually be used in an offensive manner. That's right, if you are a low level character and don't have access or the magical pool for higher level spells, what you can do is actually make a levitate spell one magnitude for 20 or so seconds and it will only cost maybe 10 magicka to cast and should have a super high cast chance if you are just slightly specced towards a magicka build. So what this will do is just slow down the enemy and give you a chance to get away. And I think this is rather underrated because like I mentioned before, if you're not a mage, if you're not very proficient in magic, having something like this at your disposal is just going to be an effect that you otherwise may not have unless you have it on an enchanted item. So if you're a level one, you need to disengage. You need to find a way around that low magic pool that you're suffering from. Well, go ahead and give a one magnitude levitation a try it just might save your life. That about closes it out for today's video. I'm not very good at math, but I can at least count to five, all things considered. So if you liked what you saw today, be sure to hit that big red button down there. And I probably am gonna do another video in this similar vein. There's a lot of great effects in Morrowind that just don't get mentioned a lot. Things like rally, sound, I'd love to touch on in the future. So if that sounds interesting to you, be sure to stick around in this channel. And as always, I will catch you on the next one. Thank you for watching and have a phenomenal day.